Hey! Am I on? Can you hear me? Check, 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 check. Looks good. Sound looks good. Everything looks great. Hi! How's it going? Hey, Jay Galvez. Hey, Jeffa at MTG Lexicon. Um, for those of you who are not, am I too close to the... Can I just go back? Am I close enough? Can't hear me. Ah. Uh. Hi, Damien. <gasps> Cookies! Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it very much. Have a cookie. Just don't take the big one in the middle. That's his cookie. He'll come for you. I'm warning you. Otherwise, have a cookie and thank you for the follow. Uh, as I was saying, hey, uh, Jeff, that's uh, MTG Lexicon. So, is my green screen acting weird? So, if you're looking for something to watch on the weekend, MTG Lexicon does typically, uh, I think, four people commander on the weekends. Is what I'm, I'm used to seeing. Does that sound right? I think that's right. It's a very, very chill. Like it's paper. It's a good thing. A good, uh, good thing to like relax and watch if you want to watch something casual. Anything else I should plug? I was thinking about it. Why are we doing this? It's like a, I'm like I'm a ghost. Woo! Hold on, somebody look at my settings. Sounds good. All right. I want to make sure I had it right. That looks okay. I don't know. Move it over a little bit like that, maybe. You like the background? I think that's pretty neat. Yeah, it's um, the background is actually by a guy on a website called. Oh, Jeff, I thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Then again, maybe not. That always looks like it hurts. Um, the background is by a site called Digital Blasphemy. It's all. Uh, a computer-generated artistry, and the guy does wallpapers and stuff. If you like futuristic wallpapers or fantasy wallpapers like this with landscapes, definitely check it out. The uh, the subscriptions are pretty cheap. Uh, I've I've looked at it for a long time. I have a, a subscription to it. Very cool stuff. Digitalblasphemy.com. So uh, so it is Tiny Hat Thursday. I picked out my. Picked out my hat for the night. Goes with my shirt. I'm wearing my... Let's see if you can see it here. Got my ManaTraders.com shirt on. ManaTraders was nice enough to make a donation to the stream uh, a couple streams back. So I thought I would go ahead and use some of the money to, you know, put their logo out there. Felt like a nice, uh, nice little payback for donating. Hashtag sponsor. Is that what that is? Um... But yeah, Mana Traders is like a card rental site for Magic Online. So if like you want to play Constructed, which I don't really myself, but if you want to play and you don't have all the cards, um, you can get like a rental and then go there for cheaper. They have shirts that small? Sure. They have lots. I just picked this one out of a bag. Lawsuit? No. Come on. Maybe for me, because I'm doing too good of a job advertising for them. But anyways, yep. I'm, I'm not doing any official sponsorship stuff with them. I'm just saying they were nice. I'm being nice back. That's how it works. Uh, okay, so what is going on here in the world of magic? Uh, it is... We're into Masters 25 now, right? So... I think we're going to do that. I think I'm just going to do... Thank you, Julio. Ah. It's pretty small. I think it qualifies as tiny. Some people give me a lot of, a lot of grief about how small my hats are, whether they're tiny hats, or they're not so tiny hats. I'm saying it's a tiny hat. Phantom League matches. Phantom League matches the value of actual packs. I think that would be. Jay, come on. This is a small hat. This is definitely qualifies as a tiny hat. Thank you, Damien. Thank you. See? I think I'm still going to do the league. So the EV works about even if you do a lot because you make it up going 3-0. and Like going 3-0, and you get a good amount of prize money back because the prizes are in the packs, not the cards. If the cards were actually worth more, um, if you had a moderate record, you would actually do okay. But you need to like 3-0 to average out to get your money's worth out of the real ones. The Phantom, I think, is a little easier to break even. 
So I'll probably just do that. I don't have any particular interest in the cards. Rudy's boxes, Jeff? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that video. Um, That was very weird. Although I guess it depends on what you open, right? If you open two boxes with Jace, that's pretty good. I think the boxes he opened were close to value, more or less. I don't think he got, like, taken on them. It's not like he opened the same terrible rare uh, for 24 packs, right? The foiled commons blow out all other rares? Yeah, I imagine. Any of the, like, modern playable or legacy playable commons and stuff probably do. Has improved repeatable? Okay, that's good. Four boxes. A huge coincidence. Oh, yeah, the tree. Everybody doesn't like the tree redemption. Poor tree. Why did they make it a mythic? Whose idea was that? Yeah. All right. Anyways, let's uh, let's go ahead and jump in the league here. Get going. I have not done this one yet. I don't know all the cards in the set. This may not be my best performance. Feel free to chime in if you have opinions, or you've done this once or twice already. You know what you're doing, because I don't. Why is this all the way over here? Oh, Magic Online! Stop resizing my windows all the time. I would very much appreciate it if you didn't. Two card combos, yeah. The crab thing. No tree guarantees. All right, I'll open Jace because it's Phantom and it's just ironic, right? Okay, here we go. Let's see what we can do. Six people. Uh, Damien, the answer is no. I mean, if you played all day and you played yesterday, you can get five trophies. That's 15 matches, roughly, if you're good. Semelin with three. Yeah, well. Ben's got two. See, Ben's got two here. Mr. Metronome. And this is just the Phantom, too. This isn't even the real one. Everybody excited for the weekend? It's almost the weekend. It's Thursday. It's kind of the weekend, sort of. Depends what you have to do tomorrow. Yeah, Jay, I don't know. Um, I think... What are we looking at here? If we go back and look, there's 1,500 people in the regular. 2,000 in the Phantom. And the packs are actually cheaper online, right? Because it's they're not redeemable, so the packs are like six tickets or something. They're not ten dollars. But then again, you can't like cash them out. Okay, what do we have here? We have a murder of crows. It's pretty good. Got a land regrowth. Pacifism's fine. Plummet. Relentless Rats. Renewed Faith, meh. Flamekin, meh. Squadron Hawks are Squadron Hawks. Mostly lost. Timberback Wolves are kind of neat. <clears throat> well, Phantom costs 10 tickets. But the EV is pretty good. I think I like Murder of Crows. Pacifism is fine, too. There's a lot of bounce in this format. Yeah, that's just what I did, right? Ten tickets or whatever. Murder of Sharon Crows. Russell Crows. Counting Crows. One, two, three, four, five. It's better than Blowfish. Yeah, and if you go two and one, you get your tickets back. If you go three and oh, you get 15. And if you go one and two, you get like four. <clears throat> what are we looking at now? Promise of Benray is a token thing. Coalition Relic's kind of neat. Just play some ramp. We got a Disfigure for removal. Um, 
Will Bender, Coral High Moral Girl, Sift. Skeletonize is pretty neat. Does some damage. Could take the Relic just for fixing. Play all the things. Relic is awesome. Yeah, Relic's kind of neat. Potato PC. Oh. I think I want Relic. I kind of would think about Skeletonize. But we could just be playing like crazy color stuff. Act of Heroism. Relic is usually a good slam first pick. I wonder what they took over it. So hard to tell the rarity. I guess the foil is gone. No, the foil's right here, right? We'll take a relic. It's good fixing. We don't know what colors we are. Browbeat, Street Wraith. Another pacifism. Straight up counter spell. Borrowing 100,000 arrows. What does this do? Draw a card for each tapped creature target but opponent controls. Meh. I could take pacifism here, play some white stuff. So many bits, hey, how's it going? Relic is usually amazing in cube. So many bits is another streamer. It does limit it often. I think pacifism, there could be an argument here for like counter spell, but I'll just take the removal. I think, yeah, I'm sure they did not miss an arrow. Path of Peace is also kind of neat. Do I want Path of Peace more? Maybe I want Path of Peace more. It just kills things. Pacifism can get bounced, though. There's a lot of bounce in this format. Azusa Lost But Seeking. Play an additional land. Not a big deal. Uh, the land enchantment. Arrows. Dragon's Eye Savant. Ooh! Professor French! Hey! Nice How's it going? Hat, Melvin. Thank you. It is a nice hat. Professor French, one of the Rogues Gallery members. Streamers of various things. Professor, what have you been playing lately? You've been doing Modern, I think? What do I want to take here? Genju? I don't like any of these cards. Ruthless Ripper? Ooh. Espadonson. Oh, we're going to Thank you for the follow. I'm not sure what to take here. Modern? Cool. I'm not taking Azusa. Mr. Metronomes, 52 viewers. Hey, guys! How's it going? I'm not sure what to take here. I think I'm going to take the Ruthless Ripper because I don't know. Is Fierce Empath any good? Go get a big bomb. Maybe I want Empath. All right. Oh, I took the Ripper. Not sure what I'm doing yet. Yeah, it might have been Empath. I could take one now. Eladomri's Call. Search your library for a creature card. Reveal it and put it in your hand. It's kind of the same as this, except this is a 1-1. One -one. Uh, the black cards are gone. The blue cards are meh. Makes this a little worse. There's a lot of white. Hey, Ben, how'd you do? I saw you had uh, two trophies on the thing. So we were looking at the standings here. Oops, they're gone now. Because I'm actually playing. <clears throat> a lot of white. Um, I guess I could take the Empath. Maybe I'm doing some sort of ramp shenanigans. Skeletonize is pretty good, though. I think I like that. I have not seen a lot of removal. Maybe I'm just doing weird things. I don't know. A few white cards. How we doing? We're figuring it out. TJ Rogers of Geek Fortress fame. Lover of red cards and fine suits. Trying to figure out what I want to do. Um, thank you. That's a pretty good hat. It's got feathers in it. Ration import? Sure. Primal Clay is not very good. Arcana Niles. Okay, I guess. It's not great. Horde's not great. Dark Ritual's not great. Griffin Protector? Is that where I am? Yeah. I mean, it's fine. It's a flyer. Evasion's decent. Cloud Shift is a thing. Not even sure what to take. Bum, bum, bum. Mr. Metronome showing off that sexy, sexy partner check mark next to his name. And all his cool new emotes, which he's going to spam right now. Cloud Shift over Griffin? Um, without anything to actually Cloud Shift yet, I don't know. Okay, there's some stuff. I could take Court Hussars, pretty good. Another, I could take the Empath now. Checkmark's never going to get old. No, I don't think so. Uh, Twisted Abomination's good. Regeneration's surprisingly decent. I could take a Hussar just for fixing. 
Also is good with bounce effects. Maybe we're seeing those. Blue and white look pretty open. Black does not look terribly open. Just a morph. Plane cycler. I think I like the Hussar. I don't really have a plan yet. It's an okay blue-white card. No, it's not fixing its card draw, right? Elvish Piper? Elvish Piper's kind of neat if we had big things, which we don't. Uh, there's a Master of the Hidden Way. Fathom's here. Yeah. Red's not open. Black hasn't looked terribly open. Rippers are fine. <gasps> uh, cookie! Amora, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it very much. Have a cookie. Just don't take the big one. I warned some people about this. Do I know the hidden way? Uh, maybe I do. It's either that or the Ripper, and I think I'm leaning towards... Maybe I should be blue-white? I don't know. Totally lost. Loxodon is good. It's what I kind of want to ramp into. Plummet's fine. Renew Faith is meh. Totally lost is meh. Fetid Heath is kind of fixing for double. Uh, I have a puppet named Bruce Remora. It's, um, it's around here somewhere. I'm going to take Loxodon. I'm just going to be all over the place until I figure something out. Act of Heroism is not what we want. Island Psyching is okay. Skeletonize is good. I think this is a good card. I'm not saying is met. I'm saying the card he is in is not great. I like Skeleton Eyes from removal. Hmm, there's a few red cards here. Cougar's fine for mountain cycling. Haunted Fingraph. No. I don't really want any of these cards. Maybe Sabots? Curse Catcher is not what we want. Bear, more curse catcher and a white thing. All right. Primal clay pillage. Cloud shift. All right. So we could definitely be like on the white blue plan. We have a loxodon, which maybe we can splash. It's always just a morph. Yeah, dragon's eye savants is all right. It's an 06, right? It's a wall. Block some stuff. We really don't have much of a direction. We were seeing some blue and white cards, I think. We were not seeing... We saw a little bit of black. Not a ton of red, but maybe these are okay enough? I, I don't know how... Conflux. Search your library for those cards. One card of every color. Reveal those and put them in your hand. Shuffle your library. I don't think I can play that even in this deck. Hmm... Ancient Craving, draw three cards and lose three life. It's pretty good. Murder of Crows is fine. Pillow of the Sleepless. Um, if we know where those colors... We don't know if we're black. I have one Murder of Crows. I could have two. Well, this could be like a blue-white flyers deck. It's probably all right. Disenchant. Eh, yeah, Geist. Three one flyers, fine. Murder is pretty good. Pillory would be fine. I don't know if we can splash it, given what we're doing. I don't know the same about Ancient Cravings, like if it's worth playing a four mana draw three and lose your life. It might be, but I think I'm going to take Murder of Crows. We've got a Brian Elemental, Rurik. Rick's kind of neat. Uh, I don't know if we can do it. Perilous Mirror's okay. Disfigure's alright. Epic Concentration's good if we're in that color, which we're not. I can take a Geist here if I want to be white. I can take Sift and draw some cards. I could move into Black Blue. Pickles? I'm not going to get Pickles Lock. The white card is Geist. It's not very interesting. Sift is fine. Disfigure is okay. I don't know about my removal yet. 
Probably not playing Epic Confrontation. Blue White Flyer seems solid. Yeah. I think I'm going to take Sift. Twisted Image is kind of neat. Wow. Maybe this would have been a good real draft. Eidolon here. Kabu Predator. Uh, okay, I'll take a Pacifism. I think that's alright here. Twisted Image is a trick. Uh, Mishra's Factory. Another Ripper. I don't think I'm playing Wooly. Hmm, not a lot of blue. Ooh, Niv Mizzet. Can I do Niv Mizzet? Maybe I'm just blue red. Maybe this is a sign. There are a lot of red cards in this pack. People have passed it. Maybe I'm just blue red splashing white now, maybe? Right, I gotta take Niv Mizzet. I think I have to. I can't pass Niv Mizzet. It's a dragon. Come on. Now I just want to live to get there. Uh, Pillage, Spirit Guide, um, Blue Sun Zenith. Yeah, Ben's on it. Ben knows what's going on. Three mana, two, two. Uh, counter my own spell. I could just take a Savant. It blocks early. I just want to sit around to get to Nib Mizzet. Yeah, there's no white cards in this pack. The blue cards, there's Zenith. I don't... I've already got Sift. I've got Murderer Crows. I don't think I want Zenith. I think I want to, like, stabilize. I think I'm looking at this right now. <clears throat> Some sort of, like... Blue red control sort of thing. Hmm. Choking tethers is fine. I can pay two, draw a card, tap a creature so I don't get hit. There's an Arbalist here. Arbalist makes me think about whether I want to get like maybe I can get some horseshoe crabs. I haven't seen any yet. Mana monkey? I'm not taking the mana monkey. I don't want a simian spirit guide. I've got lots of time for a crab, alright. I can put, I can take an Arbalist. Brainstorm. Myriad Landscape. Uh, I guess I could take Landscape just for fixings purposes. I don't want Brainstorm. Hordling Outburst might not be bad in this deck. Just to block with? Is it really control? Yeah. See the little land or hordling outburst. I think I, yeah, maybe you want an outburst. You gotta pay two. This goes away. Search two lands. Put them onto the battlefield. Tap so it replaces itself with like two islands or whatever. Yep. Little outburst. Ooh, Chandra's outrage. Here we go. Retraction elix. This is what you want to put a, on a crab sometimes. There's a crimson mage. Probably just take the Outrage. Good old Jaleer, I could just start turning tokens into real creatures, but I think I'm just going to make the removal spell. Flunkies aren't terrible. Fathoms here or Sunbright Flamekin. Fathoms here blocks a little better, I suppose. Then some more Mog Flunkies. Assembly Worker. Assembly Worker's not terrible because it can block as a 3-3, I guess. My favorite Muppet movie is The Muppet Christmas Carol, by far. Pretty easy. Yeah, it wasn't in them. I'm not really, like, an actor Muppet, per se. I think I'm going to take the Assembly Worker, just because it can block. I don't know. Do I want a hidden way? Meh. Twisted Abomination, Jackal Pup. I don't want any of these cards. That's the correct answer? Good. I'm glad I got it right. Uh, Act of Treason. I'll just take a two drop. 
maybe I need to play two drops. Okay, so we want some crabs or something. Oh, here's another assembly worker. I don't think I want Simeon Guide. No, I don't think I would be very good in front of a camera. I mean a bigger camera. I'm okay in front of this camera. Choking tethers? Alright. Cycles. Cameo? Yeah, sure. Why don't you do a ride in for me? Brainstorm! Always brainstorm. Works with Nim Mizzet, though. Muppet Treasure Island is very good. I'll give you that. Tim Curry's fun. Do I want a third Murder of Crows? A second Arbalist? Accumulated knowledge, which we haven't seen any of. Sigh of the Snowby. It's okay if you're aggressive. Uh, what's Kirk Commando do? Does combat damage player? You may have it. Target player controls. That's the morph up one. Uh, Pact of Negation is just like a very expensive counter spell. Well, the red cards are Commando and Jackal Pup. I don't want Jackal Pup. I can take another Murder of Crows for three. I could take the Arbalist and really hope to find something to put it on. I could take an Assembly Worker and get my other two Assembly Workers. In that case, I think I would want a Crow. I'm not sure what I want to take here. You would definitely play that Brainstorm? I don't know that I would. Do I want a second Arbalist and just really hope to get on the, uh... Just open a crab, get past one crab? Hmm, or is that just not going to happen? It's not terrible on other creatures. Blue Elemental Blast, uh, Flamekin, Dragon's Ice Avance, eh, Triskaidekaphobia. You would go murder? I already have two, though. Maybe that would be a better... Taking this, the third Murder Crows is probably a safer pick. Uh, I guess I take a Flamekin here and feel sad about it. I don't think I want Elemental Bast. I could put, like, Arbalists on Dragon's Ice Avance and shoot things. Just a bad pack. Take a very good Cyborg card. I have a lot of creatures. I think I'm going to take the good cyborg card. I wouldn't mind some other sort of fixing so I can play these white cards. If I don't get one more, I probably won't play them, which is unfortunate. Brian Elemental. Ooh, Lightning Bolt. All right. I like that. Another Azusa. I'm just going to take Lightning Bolt here. More Dragon's Eyes. Another elemental. Bolt the bird, yes. Bolting the bird is always good. Yeah, I'll just snap a bolt off. Hmm. I can take a prism now? That's not bad, actually. Uh, prism lets me do things like regenerate my skeletons, play these white cards, versus like Ramping for getting an island cycling is the next choice. Yeah, Foil Azusa. Too bad it's uh, Phantom, right? I'll just take a Prism. This is Phantom, yes. Regenerating Skeletons. Yeah, but what else am I going to take? I'm going to take Totally Lost or a 3-4 Flyer. I mean, that's fine, but this lets me get my white and my black splash. A little better. More Confluxes. We have not seen any crabs. The crabs are out. Frenzy Goblin. That's fun. Fathom Seer. I think I'll just take another Hordling Outburst. Hordlings and uh, Arbalus actually work kind of nicely together. Maybe Jalera wheels. Baldivian Horde. Ooh, Ghost Ship. I like Ghost Ship. Let's 
Stang. Yeah, I think I take Ghost Ship. It just flies and regenerates. It's better than a two drop. Uh, if I these tokens were living, I could play this. It's double white though. Guess we'll go ship. Uh, now oh, there's pacifism. Go ship looks fine, right? Tokens on the ground, and uh, get through in the air. And here, I think I'll take a ranger. It does island cycle. If we need that, could almost play the loxodon. I have relic and one fixer. I don't think I play. Probably play the cougar. I could play another court hussar. Uh, the zealot. Hey, scholar, how's it going? Scholar the mad, another uh, another limited streamer. How's it going, scholar? You doing all right? Play another Hussar. Yeah, Tethers is okay. It cycles, which is a thing. None of these other cards are particularly exciting. Pact of Negation, God's Willing, Assembler. Skirt Commando, I could play. It's a morph. Yeah, I'll take Pact. Maybe I need a really expensive counter spell to beat something. Flamekin or Savant. Uh, this deck really just wants to block. Ooh, Professor French! Congratulations! You are now an honorary Muppet. You might have already been... You might have already been a Muppet? I'm not sure about that. But now you are for sure. Thank you very much! I appreciate the sub. Enjoy using your emotes to annoy people. Or whatever. Five ever? <laughs> uh, okay, we'll take a we'll take an elemental. And uh totally lost, sure. It's not a bad card. Fathom seer. Yeah, maybe. More fathom seers. See all the fathoms. Anti token tech. God's willing, I don't know that we're going to be playing white. I think we have enough. I have to think about this. We're actually going to play white. We might be okay without it. We have a lot of cards that aren't doing anything. Uh, <clears throat> so the first question is, do we need to play white for two removal spells? I think the answer is no. I don't think I'm playing two choking tethers. We have four red removal spells. Um, we have two arbalists we want to put on tokens to shoot things. What is this lone sentry doing here? Hmm, the question is, are Dragon the Ice Savants better than... We reveal a blue card to flip up, so they stop the early, the early game rush on the ground, right? Fathom Seer's okay, return two islands to draw two cards. Eh, it's alright. Court Hussar, we might be able to do better then. We're just not playing white. Our fixing is... Relic and Prism. So we could play Pacifism and Path of Peace, but we need a reason to. Right now our plan is to like stall the ground and then beat him in the air with flyers. We don't have a ton of creatures. Totally lost. Two more Fathom Seekers, Twisted Image, Brainstorm. 
Good sideboard card. Uh, path of negation for like the bombs we can't handle. Twenty-four cards. I think I play one Arbalist. Maybe I can do something with one. Two gets real clunky. If we will look at it like this. We have two Cyclers. Night, Ben. Have a good one. Thank you for the host. Uh, have fun doing your Friday work stuff. And uh, we'll catch you streaming this weekend, I'm sure. And, uh, folks, that's Mr. Metronome, a.k.a. Ben Werney, one of the hosts of Lords of Limited. Go check out his podcast, and I'm sure you've seen him streaming, but if you want another limited stream to watch, check out Mr. Metronome. Very good limited player. Way better than me. And, uh, great podcast. Really digging in it. I think I finished... Did I finish today's? Or Tuesday's, or whatever that was? I think I finished this one. This one's the one this week. I think... I think I did. It was on this. Yeah, that sounds right. Alright, do I want a Crimson Mage? Is that better or worse than, like, anything? Uh, those are Cyclers, so they can be in the 2 slot or the 6 slot, which is kind of nice. I don't really care about a 2-1 that makes something of haste. Versus, like, uh, just a better creature. You play an assembly worker. It just blocks. It's a 3 3 when it blocks. Anything else I want to do? I don't know. I think this is okay. Do I want a prism now? Hmm. Prism helps me get black for regenerating. Just draws a card. Do I want to splash? I guess maybe against slower, better decks I can bring the white in. It helps me fix for like double, triple blue. Maybe I don't need a prism. Prism replaces itself? Yeah, it depends on how fast my opponent is, right? If I do this on turn two, it's okay. Let's just draw a card. <clears throat> it's mana fixing. It's replacement, so it really just costs two mana. I guess it's all right. Okay, let's see what the colors look like. Combine them up. More blue than red. Um, probably 9-8. Favor of blue. Yep. Okay. All right, this is the thing we can do. Um... We did not get the crab combo. People were taking all the crabs, which is kind of sad. But we'll see what we can do. And away we go. Waiting for an opponent. Everybody looking forward to the weekend? Anyone going to go play in, uh, what is it, GP Phoenix? I think it's the modern tournament this weekend. I'll probably watch it if it's streaming. Off and on. And of course there's probably an SCG open somewhere or another. I'm not quite sure where. Slash for St. Patrick's Day? Uh-huh. I might have a root beer or two. In honor of my uh, green relatives. Hey, schmuck. How's it going? Cracking a box of M25? Yeah, that'll be fun. Hopefully you get some good stuff. Yeah, I'll play first. Ah. Oh. Welcome back, schmuck. Nine months? Wow. That is impressive. Uh, I think this is a keep. I need red eventually. I have a pretty good win con, though.
Yeah. Oh no, my mouse isn't working. Every patch. Hold on. Fix this. Every patch the Magic Online does, it breaks all my mouse settings. I use the mouse because if I wanted to hit the keyboard, I have to go like up here every single time. <sighs> the keys. Magic Online. Remove that. Every time. There we go. Red? No. No red. So sad. Blue, white, huh? All right. Uh, where's my, where's my mana? Where's my red? Where's my prism? Where's my fixing? Land dance. Thank you. I do need some land dancing. I can use that luck. Drink faster. My opponent has all three of their colors? Ugh. Come on. Man of War. Sure. I got Man of War. Hmm. Missing a land drop is not great. Hey, Honor Midden, how's it going? Dauntless Cathar. Yes, it is Dauntless. Land, please? Really? This is what I'm drawing? Ugh. Uh, it's about where we are, and we just have to get lands. Opponent's not going very fast. Okay. No mercy, I see. One removal spell down. Sure, more double red. That's great. Uh, yep. Yeah, I'll take five. Madron lands is not helping. See what my opponent does with their mana. Amorph, sure. Heavy Arbalist. Next turn I can actually, can I play the Arbalist and shoot something? No. Sure. Returning the Mana War? This is like a tempo deck? All right. I guess you can Mana War a token away. Yep. You got it. Ah, uh, sure. Let's see what my opponent's morph is.
Their own Dragon's Eye Savant. All right. Lightning Bolt. All right. Using all their things. Wonder if they're just out yet. Um. I can play Niv Mizzet. I can play Murder of Crows. Murder of Crows blocks about the same as Niv Mizzet, but if they have any removal left, they'll use it on Niv Mizzet. What do I do next turn? Guess I do this. Well, Jeff, I'll send all my Muppet luck your way for your boxes. Open like five Jaces. Ugh, alright. Opponent's got a lot of removal. Uh. I'm at nine. I would be great if I could actually get a turn to equip it. More destruction. All right. Uh, do any of these actually? Let's see. This does damage. Don't want them to blink. I'm worried about that with these kind of effects. My opponent sells a lot of cards. They played a bunch of path pieces. Fiend Hunter. All right, that's bad. Now we're at one. Yeah. It's a lot of removal. Animorph. Hmm, that's not going to do it. Lands are coming too late. Okay, so my opponent is playing blue-white with a little red pretty fast. Um, Sears might be okay. Being able to, like, actually play my cards would help. <clears throat> Blue Elemental Blast, we saw Lightning Bolt. Opponents on, no, opponents on Blue, White, Splash, Red for, like, Lightning Bolt and some other stuff. They're playing Blue, White, uh, Bounce Effects. Kind of a tempo thing. I think I want... Yeah, maybe Prism's okay. Alright, I just need to actually draw lands. Do I want more creatures? They had a lot of removal. Uh, I can't keep this hand. This is bad. Hey, Dave. How's it going? Dave Civilian, another streamer. 
Uh, are you guys a little behind on the stream? Yeah, too much land dancing. Look at all the land dancing you just did. You made me draw six lands. Let's see, did you get it right? Red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Yeah, Bullion exactly danced into my hand. Thank you, but uh, too many lands. Ugh. All right, I guess I keep this. I'm not going to five. Man, can land dance too much. I'm doing all right, uh, besides losing this match at the moment. Opponent's got all their colors, sure, like you do. Mana War? All right. Uh, let's see what my opponent's got here. Fight Nathasa, Vadukan Shapeshifter, Pacifism, and an Iron Shaman. All right. Our hand looks good here. Uh, we have some time. I think on my turn I sift and take two from the mana war on the next attack. Opponent is thinking about their mana war. All right. Think away. It's very jellyfishy. Hmm. Jelly. Makes me think of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Now I'm hungry. <sighs> Come on, opponent. Am I going to be playing Arena? Uh, maybe a little bit. Uh, the problem I have... Uh, I'm in the beta now. I, the problem I have with the beta of Arena is that it gets very old very fast. It's my favorite type of jelly. Um, blackberry. You would think I would say blueberry, but that is a stereotype. Oh, peanut butter sandwiches are good. Uh, yeah, Athena, like, Ar Arena, you start out with, like, a super, super sealed sort of thing. You get, like... I don't know how many packs, like 20 maybe? And you build a sealed deck, sort of, and then you play that and you earn cards very slowly. And you make your deck a little better, and a little better, and a little better. So you play, like, the same deck. And I think in what's really just, like, Ixalan block right now... Now oh, there my opponent goes. They're bouncing their own Mana War. Sure. It's a good choice. I guess I wanted to rebound something better? I'm not sure. <clears throat> they didn't want me to see two cards? <laughs> what are they gonna play? They have a shapeshifter and they have the Irish Shaman. Basa. Sure, you have a trident. That is a thing you can do, and you did. I can outburst. I can 
outburst or play a morph? I guess I play a Hordling Outburst. I guess I can bolt something if I need to. Yeah, if they had played Mana War, bounced this, played Biden, then they could have drawn a card. Man of War. Sure it is. You got it. I'm not going to bolt that. I don't care. Attack if able. Uh, all right. That's what you want to do with your turn. They have a shapeshifter and the Iron Shaman left. Come on, Arbalist. Their own morph. Yep. The other one? Sure. Ah, so many lands. Ah! What's good? Lands are not good. Did I get the shapeshifter? I did. Ha ha. Just drawn nine lands. No big deal. Ten lands. <sighs> Sad. Yep. You exiled a court hussar. Splashing for Irish Shaman and Lightning Bolt. Court Hussar is pretty good, if you got the white to play it. <clears throat> Ballista would be pretty good here. Bite makes my tokens look really bad. Come on, something useful, please. One time. Okay. Ooh, they didn't make me attack. That's nice. Opponent passed with three mana up and four cards in hand. Only played a Hussar. Ooh, 
Six mana. Uh oh. Five mana. No mana. Sure, we don't want to cast that card. Uh, Blue Sun Zenith? What's going on here? Opponent's just tapping lands. Like you do. You don't know what you're doing. Uh, okay. This is our splash. Opponent left up Lightning Bolt. Something good, please. Chandra's Outrage. Sure. How do I kill a flyer? It runs into an 06 fairly well. Serves a deal damage to an opponent or a permanent opponent controls that deals damage to that player instead. So they can kill this and then things start happening. This is going to be a problem. Yep. Passivism would be good. Path of Peace would be good. And they draw a card. Jeez. Right now, this does two damage to it. <laughs> Joey Lock, thank you for the follow. Okay, what does this do? Blocks, sort of? No activation. Oh, here it is. Yep. Yeah, I'm in a pretty bad position. I can't kill this thing at the moment. This is all I can do. My opponent just kills this and I die. Yep. Alright. Well, one game where we didn't draw lands, one game where we drew 10. So let's not do that again, shall we? Maybe I need the white splash. Maybe the deck's not strong enough without it. Alright, we're playing pink guy. Uh, this is a keep, I think. <clears throat> Looks decent. Is this the aggressive black deck that we've been seeing? Or is it just black? Oh, uh, okay, Jeff. Better them than me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Green, black, huh? Green, black is like tokens and just value. Don't think I island cycle. Maybe I do. Maybe I want to hit my lands. Ah, Relentless Rats. Alright. Do I just go get an island here? <clears> hmm. <throat> huh. Just to make sure I hit my lands. I can also discard it to Sift. 
If I need to, I don't need to yet. More rats? Nope. Master of the Wild Hunt? Alright. That's a card. I'm not going to flip up. I'll just let them trade. I can sift here to definitely hit my lands. I can play Savant and Shoreline Ranger to also hit my lands. Big Fatties and Bailoff Nulls. Yeah, that's a good combo too. I could play Savant just to block and get a land. Next turn I can skeletonize this. You like sift? I like knowing I can kill this next turn. There's a chance I can miss with sifts. More rats, all right, two twos. They have a pump spell to save it. Giant growth will be a beating here. I always wind up drafting blue red. Yeah. And okay, that you did. My opponent has two cards left. One card left. Okay, is Nev Mizzet going to get online here? They're playing their last card. I like that. Cycling. Getting fear, sure. Let's hope they don't draw their one murder. That would be annoying. <clears> Whether <throat> they just did. Also, playing Sift with Nev Mizzet out is like horribly good value. Alright, don't kill the Mizzet, and I'm happy. Cycling on Earth. Relentless Rats, sure. Good. Alright, so I'm going to draw five cards this turn.
<laughs> All right, my opponent gave up. <laughs> uh, so my opponent is playing like green, black, little guys, like two twos and stuff. Rats can't fly. This is true. They can if you put them in a rat cannon. Do I want to get like silly with Arbalist? It's a lot of mana. Don't want Blue Elemental Blast. Uh, I don't want Pillage. Do I want a second Arbalist? Fathom Sears. Do I want Fathom Sears? I have two Hordling Outbursts. You'd think the Arbalist would be good. Second Arbalist is much, much worse than the first. That is true. Without, like, having a crab in the deck, I can't really... Uh... Yeah, all my expensive cards, these are all my six drops. I guess I can play this as a morph, and I can land cycle if I want. My opponent's deck was not fast. Niv Mizzet did just kill them. I think I will get keep counting this as a three drop on the uh, on the draw. It's a little slow. That didn't help. My opponent not having green here helps too. That's good. I really just want to buy time. More rats. All right. More lands. <clears throat> I don't think I go for the triple block. Mesmeric Fiend. No, my name is it. I'll have to kill you. Find him, is it? See you later. As soon as I draw this Arbalist. No attacks. All right. They think this is the Ryan Elemental, but it's not. Haha. Haha. Ha Fell for it. Ha <laughs> ha. Actually, I should have uh, let that. I should have flipped that up. What am I doing? I should have revealed this and then flipped it up. I'm dumb. That was bad. I, I take back my laugh. My laugh is not deserved. Yeah, you're right, Ramor. I just. Wasn't even thinking about it. I was so excited that they didn't kill the thing. Piper? Eh. Yeah, that was a punt. Definitely. Definitely a mistake. Crows is good. My tokens die, I can do some looting. May want to hold a mountain then. Ugh. Rats. Attacking a 3-3 three, three into a 4-4 four, four implies a trick. This is basically trading my trick for whatever these three tokens. Actually, let's reset this. Let's do this. Now I can loot.
basically I could have traded my tokens for whatever their pump spell is. That's why they were attacking a 3-3 into a 4-4. I think I'll just do this. Upkeep stop. Ooh. Uh, okay. Huh. I think I just do this. Yeah, they could have made it a four four to just trade off. Are they flashing rats? Is that what they're doing? At the beginning of your end step, if it doesn't attack this turn, it deals two to you unless it came under your control this turn. So a two three for two must attack, sort of. Still looking at rats here. Fiend is in, huh? I like that. Why are they attacking with a 1-1 one, one with niv Mizzet on it? Relic or worker? Um... They clearly have a trick. Well, they're going to use it here. There it goes. I do get more triggers, though. Ooh, sift. Uh, by relic. They can't take Niv Mizzet again, though, which is kind of funny. We could have beat the trick with Outrage. Yeah, but I expected them to have uh, a rat to pump in. Also, this way I could figure out what I wanted to do. They took Sift. All right. They have no cards left. I can still just race with a 4-4 in the air. Sure. Chupacabra, is this what this is? I don't know what you're doing that you couldn't just cast it. Better be awesome. <clears throat> Baloth Null? Master of the Wild Hunt. All right. No cards in hand. Uh, guess this dies? Guess what? I get a draw card. Guess what that does? Uh.
Yep. All right. Opponent gave up. The Nim is it is the winner. All right, we got uh, one more match to go here. I win! Yay! I won a match. I didn't just get randomly crushed. Uh, actually, I want to do something. Let's cancel this. I want to look at this deck again. Do I want more powerful stuff? I could bring in two more removal spells over, like, this Junky Worker, which is not doing much, and, like, the Hussar. If I play a Plains, <clears throat> the Hussar gets a little better. Yeah, I mean, opponent was definitely way behind. I was going to sift, I was going to draw a bunch of cards, kill all their things, and they weren't going to do anything again, and they were out of cards. So, yeah, they were basically dead. Fathom's here. Yeah, it's fine. It's a 1-3. Uh, it flips up. You draw two cards. It blocks early stuff okay. The question is, do I want, like, Path of Peace? Do I want uh, Pacifism? Cortisar is not doing much. I think Fathom Seer is better. Cortisar is fine if I have the white. If I don't, your drink worked. Great. I think this is okay. I still don't know, like... Arbalist is cool on tokens. If I had more token makers, maybe i play it. Yeah, I mean, that's what I used it for last, in the first match, right? I, I used the Fathom Seer just to draw some cards. Which is fine. Uh, the question is, do I want to try and put the Arbalist, the second Arbalist in, just to take advantage of these tokens? It's something to do a little earlier in the game. Path of Peace and Pacifism. Yeah, and I'm really not sure if I want to... Your Kingdom for a Horseshoe Crab. Mine too. That's why I took the Arbalist. I was really hoping to get, like, one in pack three. If I had one Horseshoe Crab, I could define... Like, I could justify having the... I could justify having the second Arbalist in here. Where am I based out of? Oh, I'm based out of Chicago. I'm actually in the uh, northwest suburbs of Chicago. Yeah, I don't know if I can put the second Arbalist in. It just doesn't do anything without enough creatures. I don't... Against a slower match with better creatures, maybe I bring in Path of Peace and Pacifism. Yeah, I mean, okay, so... Here's the argument, right? I want to put these two cards in. What do I take out? I probably have enough win conditions. I could take out, like, and I'd want at least one planes. In which case, maybe I play the Hussar again. Looks like this, then I'd have to cut two things. Cut a Fathom Seer and a Horridly Outburst. I don't like cutting the Horridly Outburst with the Arbalist in the deck. Outbursts actually make the Arbalist much better because you can just move this around and shoot things. It's kind of expensive to, a, to do. I could cut a Fathom Seer. That wouldn't be the worst. I could cut a Savant, too. I don't need many bodies, I know, but I need some bodies. Cut Master of the Way. I think I have enough win conditions. It's kind of the same as the other ones. It's less utility, right? It's a win condition, not utility. This is like defense. 
This can draw me cards. This doesn't do much. Unblockable, yeah, but I got flyers to get through. I have four flyers to close the game out. Hey, Sandstorm. How's it going? A tiny mind slaver? Yeah, sort of. It's a tiny Melvin slaver, maybe. Uh... Who's going to be in Vegas? I wish I could. I was thinking about it at one point. No, the only reason I'm playing Prism is because I want to actually get the ability off of this. And I potentially had this. You don't think Hordling Outburst is needed? I kind of like it. Uh, it fills a spot at three, which I kind of need. Maybe I cut a Savant. I'm already down to 14 creatures, basically. Ladder removal. I did just make my mana worse. I am very envious of the people who actually get to go to Vegas. I would like to go. I don't think it's going to work out this year, though, sadly. For a while, I thought I might, but... Yeah. Do what you can do, right? Mm -hmm. You like random morphs? Alright. I got two people telling me to not play an outburst. I'm going to play one. I'm not going to cut both. I have three white sources for the two effects. Hopefully that's enough. <clears throat> we'll see. One outburst is fine. All right. Maybe I can live the dream and put some outbursts and hoarding stuff and ballista things together. That'd be sweet. Now I got my mana. Uh, this is a keep. Another blue and I'm all set. Another land and I can do things. Playing Will O'Neill? All right. Sure. I like confusing my opponents with my lands. Sand is great. Yeah, I can even island cycle on turn two. Hopefully this isn't the crab deck. Probably just gonna see cycle. Just to make sure I get to four lands four lands. Yep, bring it in. Uh oh, it's a crab. This could be very good. Ooh, Arbalist? Uh... Not yet. Hopefully I get a two for one then with a crab next turn. Yeah, I play Dragon's Eye. There's a chance I want to flip this this turn. There is no chance I want to flip this this turn. Like, if they attack in and they play a giant growth on their 2-1...
Okay, two for one incoming. I guess I could make a token, so there's that. Yeah, I'm just blocking. They're going to be so envious of my uh, Arbalest. Yes, I traded. Get that out of here. None of that junk in my house. Next turn, I get a Murder Crows? They get a token. Whee! Take one. Yep. Let's see if they attack in here. <clears throat> Helix, all right. You can bounce my birds. That is an unsummon. Slightly worse than an unsummon. You lose a point of damage. And a morph, sure. My land would be nice here. Hmm. Timberback Wolves, sure. Just kind of a blue-green mid-range with some combo stuff going on deck. And more token making. Brian Elemental. Hmm. Really need a land. Echo and Courage could be really bad. They're just making a million tokens. Two of these, huh? Hey, Everos, how's it going? Having a good night? Six land. Epically confronted my silly. All right. Yeah, flipping fathoms here is a way to get lands. Right now my opponent's just making tokens. I can start actually arbalisting things while they're staring here doing nothing but making one ones. Oh, how'd your Masters 25 go? Did you win? I am one in one right now, as my little thing says. And I put it at zero and zero. Nothing. They kept one card. Uh, Let's stop the elf shenanigans now. 
I don't want to do it in their turn because they can just make two. I suppose they could save it. They use Deco and Courage right now. If that was their one card left. Nope. Two one. Aggro seems to be the strategy. That's what my opponents are kind of showing me. They have a lot of one ones. Everything in, huh? Okay. Uh, is this Echoing Courage? Or are they just running out of time? Maybe they're just trying to kill me? Giant growth is a problem. Echoing courage is a problem. So if I block like this and they have echoing courage, this dies, and they take I take nine and go to four. If that's what they drew or had. Okay. Giant growth, sure. Draw some cards, see what happens. That's not bad. Lands are not great. Uh, so I have six mana, so I can... I can't really skeletonize and regenerate the 1-1, one -one, which is kind of unfortunate. One land short. I could kill that. That's about all I can do. Yeah, I mean, there's the argument to get the Pickles Lock a little faster. There's also the argument to, if they play like a Mana War, and they bounce it, and I just take a bunch of damage. I need something to do. I suppose I could have played... Could have not drawn two cards, played the Brine Elemental, maybe equipped it. Opponent's just passing? Nice. N Never mind, I'm doing alright. Okay. Let's see here. Can I regenerate two? Yeah, I could have used my mana like that. It's basically what I could do this turn. But I can't quite... I guess I can equip... I'd really like to be able to regenerate this. It's unfortunate.
opponent's also sitting on two cards, not doing much. Uh, all right. <clears throat> this costs seven, so I don't want to return any lands if I don't have to. Arbor Elf, you got it. Do you have two lands in hand? One land in hand? Do I just start shooting things? Yeah, I think so. Crows is good. Let's see what I draw here. That's good too. It's got one card. Cortisar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can equip and do this. I like just shooting things. I can play Crow later. Oh, I should have equipped a non summoning sick creature. That was dumb. Yeah, I mean, I could hurry it up. I guess I'm, like, not doing much. I'm not winning. I'm just not doing anything. Well. No, I agree. I should probably get going. Skipping their untapped step doesn't seem to do much at the moment. Could just draw two cards. I like having lots of mana, though. I don't really want to, like, necessarily return two lands to my hand. Of course I didn't leave. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Should have left double red, but I have a prism. Yeah, mana does seem better than cards. Finding a way to win. The crab, sure. Go for it. Ah. I 
Outrage on Crab does seem good. Should I do it now? Should I wait for the two for one? I'm in a rush. Uh, I have three removal spells in my hand. I'm not going to loot. Like they always say you should loot. I'm not going to loot. I think I have the best cards in my deck in my hand. You wouldn't wait in case they draw that counter spell. I also just skeletonize the crab. Yeah, skeletonize is probably what I'll do. Again, I probably have the best spells in my deck in my hand, so looting doesn't do much except hurry me to decking. My opponent really likes to think about these triggers. Sure. Lots of tokens. Blue green tokens. Opponents at 12, they're on a two turn clock. Eventually, my opponent will alpha strike. <clears throat> Is it lethal? Uh, do I have enough? I don't think I do. Oh no, I got eight. Uh, one. I guess I could have gone for it. Okay, lots of tokens. Um, I'm worried about getting run over. <clears throat> totally lost doesn't seem good. Hidden way, no. Tethers, yeah. Could play borrowing 100,000 arrows. Is that good here? Pacifism doesn't seem great. They um, they have crabs. I don't want to do that. 
Yeah, I don't like pacifism now. Blocking 1-1 one, one seems good. They have two token makers. Okay. Have a good night, Evan. I'll see you around. Hey, uh, do you know when you're streaming next? If you do, uh, feel free to throw it out in the, the chat here so people can tune in. I think this is okay. This is tempting. We saw a giant growth. We did not see a echoing truth. Or not echoing truth, echoing courage. Same set, though. All right, this is a keep. Can bolt me some crab meat. <clears throat> No, I don't want to bolt. Ooh, Masters 25 all day. I like that. That sounds like a good Friday. Coral Helm Guide, sure. Woo! My buddy Cabrito! Hey, how's it going? Hey, welcome to the stream, folks. How's it going? Ah, it's my friends from uh, <coughs> friends from Brazil. How's it going? Are we doing well? Having a good night? It's probably pretty late there. Although you may not actually be there. Everybody, that is. Zamor, if I'm going to take two. Thank you. It's a good hat. What up, Work, work, work. Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. I am not going to bolt this thing. I do not care. I could bolt the morph. What did we see for their morphs? Just a dragon's eye savant? Do I want to kill it? Maybe I do. It's not a crab, though. I think I hold my removal. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. My name is Melvin. I play Limited twice a week, Monday and Thursday nights around 11 Eastern Time. 3-2 can't be blocked. <clears throat> I see. Maybe I do need to kill it. Oh, 3. All right. I'm 1-1. One one. I'm trying. I'm trying very hard. Woo. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it very much. Got to look at the list here. Amana Games, thank you. Yeah, I know, I gotta kill the 3 2 Bakul. Yeah, an 18. Oh, wait. Thank you for the follow as well. Yeah! Ow. The Mutas? 1978. Is that when you were born? Wow. Thank you for the follow. Mort, Mort, Mort. I gotta keep playing, though. And Guise, thank you too. <laughs> Wataki, thank you very much. I appreciate all the follows. And uh, the next one is Gwyn, because I have the cheat codes. <laughs> Boom! Gwyn, you exploded. I'm sorry that you exploded. It was very explosive, though. What a great follow. Thank you very much. What is my opponent going to do? It's their turn four. They missed a land drop. Uh oh. No! Run! Uh oh That's not good. They owed me money. Yeah. Horseshoe crab. Crabbing it up. Do you crab what I crab? Their deck seems to rely on crabs. I think I'm just going to do that. 
How many clips do I have? Uh, six or seven, I think. I think you've seen most of them. There might be a couple more that didn't just play. <gasps> Cookies! Venom! Thank you for the follow. There's another one. Skeleton crab's the best crab. Yep. Uh, one short to flip. Kind of sad. Next turn, I can flip the pickles. They're only st stuck on three. Pretty bad. A wolf. Sure. Woo! And Zane! How's it going, folks? Hi, friends of Zane. You are catching me. Uh, at the end of a draft, this is Masters 25. My opponent is stuck on three lands. Go away, Walter. Walter. Shoo. Shoo. That is a little too long. This is, uh... What is this? Match... Game two of match three? So you're almost at the end here. My opponent is stuck on three. Ooh, we have pickle lock. I wonder if I just get him. Could Brian Elemental trade with both his creatures? Hit for a bunch? Pickle and attack. I can attack in with a Brine Elemental, too. A double block kills both their things, and they don't do anything for two turns. I think that sounds good. They're going to block. They might just try and trade. So many things are a blowout if they double block. Like any kind of removal just gets them. I wonder if that's going to do it. Retraction helix? Is that what's going to happen? You okay? Sure. All right. You still don't untap. They return the crow. They didn't want to save their creature. Interesting. I would have bounced this. Then they would have at least kept a 2 2. Very weird. I don't think I would have done that. Maybe they think they can block on the ground a little better. Who knows? Ba, 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 ba. So Zane, buddy, if you're here, how did your stream go? Did you have a good night? Lots of streamers on a night. Woo, so close. One red short. They just aren't winning because they're stuck on uh, four main on turn eight. Yeah, I mean, sure. But just because you're losing doesn't mean you should make a worse decision. I don't think that's like a valid excuse. It's basically an excuse, right? If you're given the choice of A and B and you're losing the game, saying, well, I'm going to take B because it doesn't matter what I pick. I don't, I don't think I like that answer. This could be a giant growth. You think there's 0% to win either way? I think in that situation, what just happened, one of the blocks was better than the other, and I think they picked the wrong one, regardless of their odds of winning the game. And if they really felt that their odds were 0% on both sides, they should just quit. Otherwise, they're like trying to time me out.
relic. Nope. <clears throat> ah. All right, well, while we're sitting here watching my opponent lose, uh, I do want to show my shirt again that I got from a nice donation from Mana Traders. Get up here. I got a Mana Trader t-shirt, because why not? If you're into uh, running cards to play some constructed, and you don't want to like buy all the cards for a modern deck or a standard deck, check them out. Tacking in with a 4-4s. Four uh, sure. I'll take 4. Opponent's actually kind of getting back in it. Hmm... Uh, so let's see, I hit him for a bunch. Just play some blockers. Play Relic and Outburst and hit them for a bunch. See, it's not zero. I mean, they have to answer my flyer. Is there an overrun effect? Oh, I guess not. They are dead to the flyer. All right. Well, hey, look, we went two and one. We got our uh, we got our points back. So sweet. All right. Woo, 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 woo. So if you've got the Melvin win from subbing, go ahead, throw that up. Hey, if you have anything that could, like has a win, just throw it in chat. Woo! And get some cheering. Come on, it's at the end of the night. We should like uh, party. I went two and one. Woo, 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 woo. Yay! Yay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo, woo. <laughs> Can do a little dance. Hey, my main. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, that was pretty good. Okay, so I could bring the deck back up. Do we want to look at the deck? See what I was doing for the people who just got here? I can pull it back up. Woo! Kapow! I like those. We got a power up. Uh, view previous deck. Okay, so here's the deck we were working with. Uh, definitely had some Niv Mizzet. This we got in pack two. Pretty good. Ooh, I like that. I like the little seashell. It's cute. Uh,. It was a decent deck. Lightning Bolt. Another stellar card. Nothing great. Like a lot of removal. Skeleton Eyes. No real bombs. Uh, nothing to write home about. Two Arbalists and we never saw... We never saw a Horseshoe Crab to put them on. Which is very sad. Yeah. But yeah, and we threw, uh, we threw the white in after the first match. To uh, yeah, you know, to make the deck a little better, just a little more removal. Seemed like we could afford it, so that was the deck for the night. It's pretty good. So, um, thank you for tuning in tonight. I think that's gonna do it for drafting for me tonight. Um, but uh, I will be back Monday, so look for me there. I will be doing more drafting, probably Masters Twenty Five. Uh, if you want more of me in the meantime, there's a couple things you can do. First. Look for me on Twitter, at Melvin the Muppet. You can catch my Melvin's Minutes if you have not seen them yet. They're like little, uh, they're little one-minute, some funny videos, keep catching you up with what's going on in the world of magic. 
or just random things that I do. So they're funny. Take a look. And um, other stuff, I'm on YouTube. So if you want more of me immediately, if you want to watch some more drafts, go just uh, search for Melvin the Muppet on YouTube, and you'll find me there. Otherwise, I will see you Monday. So have a good one. Yeah, Jeff, I, I only have time. i got to film my next minute, Melvin's Minute after this before I go to bed. And I do have to work tomorrow, sadly. So I can't do another one. But, you know, I try to get in as much time as I can. But I think that's going to do it for tonight. I don't have time to do another one. I'd like draft, and then I'd have to stop before we play. And that's, like, awful. It's like a tease. So check it out. Um, I'm going to throw you to a buddy of mine named Zevron who is playing some Overwatch. So do me a favor and tell him Melvin says hi when you get there. Um, but thank you for tuning in tonight. Thank you to my moderators. Uh, thank you, new followers. Thank you, subscribers. And um, as I like to say at the end of my streams, may your next draft go um, go this well or better. 2-1's fine. 3 would be better, though. Right? Cool. All right, do me a favor. Say hi to Zevron for me. And, uh, yep, yeah, I'll see you on Monday. Good night. Melvin.